about revival, this is what shuts down revival. I'm not saying, oh, well, I'm, you know, he's not preaching a little hard at night. I better not go. I'm hurting a little bit. I better not go. If I, if I didn't go every time I hurt, I would never go. Amen. I ain't talking about this. I'm here tonight. I'm here tonight. Amen. You know why we're here tonight? started this the other night. We'll get back to the regular schedule <coughs> program at some other point, but this ain't it right now. Anytime that the Lord has a revelation for his church, the devil's going to jump up and down and stomp and kick and buck and try to get everybody out. Because he don't want you. He don't want you know it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. This word 
But I'm bringing you tonight is a revelation. It's not from the book of Revelation, it's a revelation. God reveals things to you. He shows you things. As you reach certain levels in your growth as a Christian, He shows different things, different levels. Right. We have hit a level, now He's ready to bring us to another level. Matthew 16, verses 17 through 19, these are very, very well-known scriptures. I've read them lots of times, and I've preached and taught out of these scriptures lots of times. But it's a whole different way tonight than what I've seen it before. Matthew 16, verse 17. Well, back up to 16. Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar John, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Amen. Lord, I ask you tonight to just bless your people. Bless us, Lord, as we partake of your word. Let us receive understanding. Let us receive wisdom and knowledge in it. Lord, let us, let us receive this revelation, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wednesday night, or no, it wasn't Wednesday night. Yeah, it, was, it was Sunday night. Sunday night, we had a little bit of a taste of this that night. The Lord wouldn't let me go full out on it. But I want you to understand what's going on here. We talked about revelation, how this is a revelation. You see here, Jesus is giving revelation unto Peter. Because when they asked him, he said, Who art thou? He said, Son, you know, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He just got revelation from the Lord as to who Jesus was. Now Jesus said, Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah, because you just received revelation. For flesh and blood didn't reveal it unto thee, but for my father, but my father which is in heaven. He said, You didn't receive this from anybody, any anyone such person. You received this from my father right. in heaven. He said, You're blessed. So now he's going to give him some more. He said, I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. And upon this rock I build my church. Now I told you before when he's talking about the rock here, when he said upon this rock, but you know if you look up Peter, that means Cephas. Cephas means rock. Right. Hmm? It's a pebble. Yeah, but it's still a rock. But when you look at that a little further, he said upon this rock I'll build my church. He wasn't talking about on Peter. He was talking about the revelation that Peter received from the Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to build my church on this revelation. That's right. Yeah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, there where it says, I'll build my church. In the Greek, that word church is called ecclesia. Ecclesia 
is what was written in the original word of the Lord, not church. The, Greek, the Greeks didn't have a word for church. They wrote ecclesia, so whenever they translated it, the closest thing they could come up with was church, which church means a gathering of spiritual believers. But ecclesia does not mean exactly that. In a way it does, but it doesn't. If you go back and study in on the, uh, the way that the Greeks did things in their government and in, in the way that they handled everything, they actually had an ecclesia, which was a group of individuals that they set apart, that they pulled aside, and they appointed them to be the governing body over this city or town or area or whatever it may be. They were the ones that they said, you know, you can do this, and they said you can't do this, right? right. They talked about the gates here, the gates of hell, to not prevail against it. The gates, where, if you remember, that was a place where the rulers sat. They would sit in the gates a lot of the time. So, in other words, the ecclesia would sit at the gate. That would be where you'd go if you had a property dispute. That would be where you'd go if you had uh, some other thing under the law that needed to be dealt with or a question about something or whatever, you would go there. Right? So they had authority to what? To speak for that group of people right. and to speak into that group of people. Right. The ecclesia had power. Right. The ecclesia of Jesus Christ is supposed to have power. Amen. But if we're just a church, just a body of believers that come together, for just a time of worship and praise, we're not being the ecclesia that Jesus Christ wants us to be. All right. Amen. Come on. We're, we're not being what he designed his church, his ecclesia, to be. Amen. He designed us to be a, a body that can speak into the things. You know? Come on. All right. And if we're not doing that, then we're missing out on God's purpose for His church. That's right. God wants us to pray against the wickedness of this world. That's right. yeah, man. The ecclesia of Jesus Christ, the governing body, the church, you know something that I found was really interesting is most of the time that group would be up to 10% of the number that was being uh, governed or, or over. Hmm. Huh? Yeah. They would be made up of, anybody, of people from 18 years, mainly men, from 18 years and over. That would make up the ecclesia. But they were, they were normally about 10% of the number. You think about that. Christians will make up about 10% of this world. Am I off much? What are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be praying. You remember the Bible says that God speaks to things as though they were? That's right. What was the ecclesia doing? They were sitting there and they'd come up and say, well, I've got a question about this or that. What are we going to do? This is what you're going to do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hello? Come on. We got junk going on in our schools that shouldn't be. We should be speaking to these things. Right. 
with the authority. He said that with the Holy Ghost you receive power. That was not dunamis. That was exousia power, which means authority power. Right. Right. You was given authority power. He said, I'm going to make you part of my azusia. You remember he said in the Bible, it said, I think it was in 2 Peter, said to make your calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are the elect of God. If you're elected, if we elect officials for, okay, let's say we elect our, our mayor. What are we doing? We're electing him to be the voice for us. God elected you to be a voice for him. Amen. You think he wants homosexuality in our children and in our in our community and in our world? You think he wants this gender bending no. junk no. going on? That is the church doing what it's supposed to do and, and just sitting back and saying, well, I hope it gets better. Let's pray for it. No. We're supposed to be speaking against it. Man. We're supposed to be praying against it. That's right. We're not supposed to just let the wickedness. People out here, kids out here with the moral of a barnyard dog. What is that? Can we change it? Yes, we can because we have authority. We're the only ones who have that authority. Amen. The ecclesia of Jesus Christ has the authority Amen. to speak these things out in existence. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Why is it still here? Because we're not doing our job. Where's the star? Right here in this county, this city. I've taught before how that, and the Bible tells us how that the, the, the rulers of the darkness of this world, they go by political lines. Why is that, you wonder? Because the ecclesia is in every political. Hello. Come on. We have churches in every area, especially around here. But here's the thing. How many of those churches are the ecclesia of Jesus Christ? How many of those are doing what Jesus designed this church? He said, I, upon this rock I'll build my church, my ecclesia, upon this knowledge of who I am, that I'm Jesus Christ, the all-powerful, the son, you know, the, the mighty God, the counselor, Amen. the prince of peace, yes. on this revelation, I'm going to build my ecclesia. Now y'all know who I am, you know what power I have. Yes, that's right. Amen. He doesn't want this junk. In his society, he don't want right. this junk. We got a we got a liquor store over here now in the curb. You think he wants that junk in in the curb, can it? Then why is it here? You think he wants all this filth and nastiness? No. You think he wants us to have teachers over here that are teaching our kids the way of the world? Do I hate the teachers? No, I don't hate the teachers. I don't hate the people that own these businesses. I hate what the businesses are doing, and I hate what the teachers are teaching. Right. Amen. Right. We're supposed to be the ecclesia. We're supposed to be the governing body, the one that speaks Amen. to the things of Jesus Christ. He keeps coming back to me and has for a while to be about my father's business. That's right. I'm supposed to be doing what he wants me to do. Right. Amen. That's right.
But yet, what do we get caught up on? We get caught up on, let's go to church and just have good church. Let's go have good church. What is good church? I'm going to go get my blessing. But see, we got that all messed up. We ain't supposed to be coming up in here trying to get a blessing. We're supposed to be coming in here to be a blessing. But if all we're doing is, is just taking care of ourselves, Come on. let me get a few goosebumps. Let me feel good and go home. Hey, yeah, I feel better. Come on. But you ain't changed nothing in this county. Right. We ain't changed a thing. Yeah. But when... <laughs> But when we begin to become the ecclesia of Jesus Christ, what he designed us to be, and now we begin to speak the things as though they were, now we start seeing a change. Amen. Try. Now is when things can, can begin to be broken. Amen. You've got to remember, you're the elect. You are elected to a position. That's right. You are. You're elected. He gave us a charge. Amen. He said, go into all the world preaching the gospel. Amen. You know what the gospel is? Mm -hmm. This revelation. Yes, right. That he is Christ Almighty. Amen. 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 That he can change things. That he can right the wrong. That he can turn the darkness into light. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 28. But if I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit that right there just a second. He's talking here about if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall the kingdom stand? You remember they were choosing him. He said, they were saying Christ is just casting out devils. He's Beelzebub is casting out devils by Beelzebub. Uh -huh. No, they devils by devils, demons by demons. He said, there's no way that can happen. If that happens, the kingdom will fall. That's right. But then he says, And if I by the other above cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, uh -huh. right. then the kingdom is come unto you. Now here's the thing. We only have so much power. That's right. When we want to see things changed and see things changed the way they should be, then that's when we must speak and pray in the Spirit of God. Because we don't know exactly what to pray. Yes, that's right. Amen. But Jesus does. That's right. And when we let him pray through our lips, he's fixing to change things. That's right. There's gonna be some backbone broken. There's gonna be some there's gonna be some uh, strongholds broken down. Yes. Stomped yes. on. Completely destroyed. But he needs our voice. Amen, amen. Not our words, but he needs our voice. That's right. right. To be able to do that. That's right. He's got to be able to do that. I missed, I missed something right here, too. Let me back up. Matthew 18, verse 7, number 18. I don't know if I missed it, I just postponed it. Verily I say unto you. You know what every time he says verily, he's saying I'm fixing to give you a revelation. <laughs> verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Yes, 
again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three, hmm, sounds like an ecclesia, uh -huh. where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Now, once we come together, Jesus said, there I am in the midst of them. Now, he's got an ecclesia. Now, he's got a governing body. Now, he can work through this. All right. Now, he can speak through this. Mm -hmm. Now, he can change the government. Right. You remember, I quoted a little bit of Isaiah a while ago. You remember it said that that the government will be upon his shoulders? Uh -huh. The government, what does that mean? The ruling body? Right, that's right. The government will be upon his shoulders. Hmm. Jesus is the head of the church. Man. The government shall be upon his shoulders where the body of Christ Man. from the feet up to the shoulders where the body of Christ the government shall be upon his shoulders. Amen. Revelation after revelation after revelation. It's for us to carry this load. Yeah. It's for us to stand in the stand in the gap. Yeah. It's for us to say, I'm willing, Jesus. I'm willing. Speak to me. Do what you need to do. Yes, I want to see this happen. I want to see it changed. I want to see it moved. I want to see it broken. Amen. I want to see it myself. You get a burden like that, you turn over and turn yourself over to the Spirit of God, and now all of a sudden He can speak through you, and He's going to do it with through you so strong because you've got a burden for it yourself. Amen. Now you want to see the things of God come forth. Amen. You want to see the kingdom of God progress. Amen. Not just saying, "Hey, we had a good time tonight. We had a good church. Praise God." Now yeah, maybe I'll make it to Wednesday. No. Hmm. You, you start letting God use you as the ecclesia of Jesus Christ as his church, as his governing body, and you watch how much victory starts happening in your life. You watch how much your situation changes. You watch your revival starts to unfold. Watch what Jesus can do through us. You want to make a difference in your world? Fulfill your election. Make your calling an election sure. That's right. You know, I said a while ago, the gates, you know, he said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. I told you a while ago, the gates is where the rulers sat at. Right. But the gates were also the point that the soldiers assembled at right before they went out to war. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hello? Hello? The rulers were there. So were the soldiers. Now I want you to think with me for just a minute. We're at the gates. The gates of hell are going to try to keep us out. They're not coming against us. Gates are not def are not offensive. They're defensive. They're not going to attack you. They're going to try to keep you out. Right. Hell don't want our hands on nothing. Don't want us touching anything in there. So now we're at the gate. We're there. Hell don't want us to be there. But now we start speaking as a governing body 
And what happens, the soldiers start gathering at the gate. Why? Because that's where the ecclesia is at. That's right. Now they start gathering there, and we start speaking. What happens is the Lord starts sending his angels out to do exactly what's been spoken in the Spirit. Amen. He sends his warring angels. He sends out his, his troops. He sends out his deliverers and attackers. Amen. He sends them out by what he has spoken. And he speaks it through us. Amen. Right. But if the ecclesia is not here, if it's not operating as it, as it should, there's nothing going out. There's nothing being changed. There's nothing being attacked. That's right. That's right. We must, at any moment's notice, we should be able to to pray in the Spirit. At any given moment. In just a little bit, we're going to pray a prayer of authority. We're going to pray a prayer of authority tonight. Over this county, this city, We're not going to use our words. We're going to let him speak. We're going to pray in the spirit. That's why we have to be ready. We have to have ourselves ready when we come to church. Just know that this ain't going to be the last time this is going to happen. Where two or three come together, he'll be in the midst. The more there is, the more we can affect this situation. Right. That's right. So we've got to be at where we can get ourselves in the spirit in a moment's notice and be ready to pray. Amen. If we can't do that, then work on it. Work on it. Get it so you can. Yield yourself to the Lord. So that it, it, when you do that, when you start praying and you, and you allow the Lord to speak through you and pray in the Spirit, then it's, it, it gets easier and easier and easier. So that when God is impressing upon you, I need you to pray, then you can just pray right there and go right into the Spirit. Amen. But we've got to get ourselves, our mindset to that point. We've got to understand, we've got to We've got to humble ourselves. We've got to make ourselves ready so that he can speak. Because if we're always the one who wants to speak, then his will is not going to get done. That's right. That's right. But if we'll let him speak through us, we can affect this world. He can affect this world. Amen. When we do this, then we do actually become the reigning body in this community. Does that mean we're in charge of everybody else? No, but that means we're in charge of the devils. We're in charge of the demons. We're in charge of all the wickedness of this, the darkness of this world in this community. Go right. right. away, Brother Darren. I don't know about that kind of sounds spooky. Read your Bible. Don't you ever decide to take on the devil by yourself and get your tail kicked. He said we're two or three. You ain't got no power. He's got all power. You can't stop a nose from nothing. But we become the reigning. Hmm. We become that reigning body. How? He told us we would. He got by before it. Yeah. He said, Upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Whatsoever thou bind on earth will be bound in heaven. 
Whatsoever right. thou wilt, so on earth will be loosed in heaven. That's right. He said, I give you the keys. Uh -huh. You want to unlock situations that seems hopeless? That's the keys. Amen. We pray in the Spirit. Let the Spirit pray. Things that are bound will stay bound. Things that are loose will stay loose. That's right. Hello? Come on. Amen. That's right. But we've got to operate as that ecclesia. Yes, sir. Not just the church. Not just a body of believers. but of the oracles of the Lord. The conduits of the Lord. Something he can use to speak through right. to make a difference. The ecclesia, ecclesia is responsible for the things they do and don't do. If you're letting all this stuff go on around you, do you think God's happy? Mm -hmm. He's not. You think God likes all this junk that's going on in this world? He's not happy. Mm -hmm. But if we're doing what He's called us to do, then He can change the things that he wants to change. That's right. Now we can see a difference in our schools. We can see a difference even in our churches. That's right. We can see a difference in our communities. Amen. Me and Sister Melody and Sean camp meeting, we were actually going back over to Brother and Sister Griggs' house. Young woman, young man standing on the side of the road, little old woman looking, I don't even know if you call her a woman, she was just much more than a girl. She wasn't very old. Boy was about that tall. She leaned over to him and he said something and she ran back and just hit him just as hard as she could hit him. What did he do? He grabbed her and picked her up and WWE body slammed her. Sister Mother said, I'm surprised he didn't break that girl's neck because it landed, she landed right on her head. Sister Mother said, I mean, just dead out. Mm -hmm. Well, Thomas? Yes. My daddy would have beat me half to death. Mm -hmm. You don't touch a woman like that. Where'd that go? But he had also said to some of you know, if a woman going to act like a man, she needs to be treated like one, all at the same point. But it's, it's just as bad on both sides. That should never happen. It shouldn't have happened in the first If time. we had respect and love for each other like we're supposed to, that would have never happened. That's right. We got people killing people all the time. Why? Because they don't love themselves. They sure don't love nobody else. Well, that's just something you can't change. Oh, yes, you can. Amen. That's spirits. That's right. Those spirits can be bound. Amen. That's right. But not with a quiet church. Amen. That's right. Right. Amen. Not with a quiet ecstasy. We're not going to change things. We've got to be willing to speak. We've got to be willing to do. Amen. You got people out there that's got identity crisis. Folks want to identify as this and want to identify as that. Right. It don't make no sense. You were born a man, you were born a woman. There it is. I don't care if you identify as a German Shepherd, you ain't one. <laughs> you can identify all you want to. You don't make you one. Right. You're still 
Just a woman. You're still just a man. Yep. I got shot taken by one day. I told Brother Thomas, I said, I think I'm going to just, I'm tired of being white. I'm just going to identify as being black. <laughs> but it didn't do me no good. I'm still white. <laughs> Hello? Uh -huh. It didn't do me no good. Right. Hello. <laughs> Those are spirits. Amen. Right. That comes from what? The rulers of the darkness of this world. Do you realize that Satan is, is ahead of his time on the things that he's doing? A lot of the stuff that's going on is not really supposed to be going on at this point in time. He's ahead. Why? Because the church ain't holding him back. All right. Amen. Come on. Come on. You get a little leak in the dam, and if you don't start working at it to plug that up before long, you're going to have a gushing. Before long, you're going to be flooded and overtaken back. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's what sin's trying to do. It's getting so many holes and so many things trying to come at once that we ain't, able, we got, we ain't got everybody working on it. So we're not able to plug up what they're spraying loose. Right. Right. But if the church be the church that Jesus created and designed, yes. mm -hmm. we can be plugging up some holes. Yes. We can be silencing yes. some demons. Amen. You know when you bind the demon, when you bind that jumper and you cast him out, he don't come back. Amen. Amen. He can't come back. No, he's done. He, he's gone out of darkness. Hello? Amen. A third of the angels fell out of heaven. You buy them enough, look out, the number decreases. Right. Amen. Why are we still having so much problem? Seems like the church must not be doing what Jesus designed us to do. Mm -hmm. Right. He said we're going to have power, yeah. authority, to speak. Yes. That's what he was talking about when he said that you received power. He said, I'll give you. You remember the prodigal son when he came back? He said, Oh, he said, kill the fatty calf. We're going to have a party. Uh -huh. He said, put new clothes upon his back and put a ring on his finger. That's right. He said, That ring, that, that wasn't jewelry to them. What they were saying, that was a sign that now you can speak for the family again. That's right. That's right. You have authority. Amen. That's what Jesus is telling us. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the authority to speak for me. That's right. That's right. Now all he's waiting for you to do is to make your calling and election sure. Yeah. To know, hey, I am a voice for the Lord. I am part of his ecclesia. I am part of the, the voice that he's going to change things in this world. Amen. When we understand that, now he can begin to use us. Now he can start to change things. Now those things that's been holding us captive are all of a sudden free. Right. What well, we got to do? We've got to get ourselves ready to speak in the Spirit. Yes. We have to have the ability to pray in the Spirit and let the Spirit speak through us. His perfect will, His perfect plan. Hallelujah. It's his words, but it's our voice. So what does that mean? It carries authority in this world because it's our voice. It's his words. But it's still our lips that's making the words. It's our larynx that's making the words. That's right. That's speaking, that's uttering those sounds, those groanings even the Bible talks about. Right. So now it's not just Jesus speaking, but it's Him speaking through us. Amen. You know, the water 
source is no good if you can't get it to come to you. You go in there in your house and you turn that water on and you're blessed because that water comes out and runs out. How did it get there? It had to come through a conduit. Right. It had to come through some kind of a, of a pipe or some kind of a thing to be able to get it to you. Right. You are the conduit for the Lord. How did he get his voice to affect the things in this world? He speaks through his conduits. But if we're not conducting, if we're not ready, if we're not sensitive so that he can speak to us, then he's not able to affect what he wants to affect. Somebody has to take authority. Right. Somebody has to. And that's what you're doing. When you yield yourself in the Spirit, you're taking authority. You're saying, Lord, I'm willing for you to speak against the evil of this world using my voice. I take authority over these devils. You gave me authority. I'm going to speak over, over this junk, but you're going to give me the words. Some things we have to speak our own voice. But when it's this kind of a corporate thing, when it's this kind of a big stronghold, it takes the Lord. Yeah. These things come not but by prayer and fasting. We talked about prayer and fasting this morning. It gets us to the point to where Jesus can work through us. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, I can't do anything through you until you get yourself to that position or to that point. <coughs> where two or three are gathered in my name, there I'll be in the midst of them. He's called us. He said that we are the elect of Christ. We are the elect. We're the chosen people. Chosen generation. Wow. What about that revelation? A what? A royal priesthood. What does that mean? The ecclesia. We are the rulers, the governing body of the kingdom. Of the kingdom. Amen. We speak for the king. Right. And when the king says something happens, something happens. Awesome. The king says that it's so. Come on, let's pray right now. If you need to warm up to get yourself where you can speak in tongues and let the Spirit pray, then, then do it. Do whatever you got to do. Come on, let's pray.
That's it. Come on. That's it. Come on.
I just had a word. My mama was pregnant with me and with Kuna and with my daddy. She put a love for Kuna and me. You were just in the middle of the Ecclesia meeting. We just, God just put a love for him and that baby. Amen. Amen. 
John Lipton, John Lipton wound. Because he felt the spirit. The baby was just in a spiritual meeting with its creator. Man. Oh yeah. see things change. You're going to see things change. You're going to see things that's happened tonight. You're going to say, wow, isn't that amazing? Amen. Something's done happened already. Amen. 
You need us to say it. Say, I receive the right revelation tonight. I receive Let's thank the Lord for it. Lord, we love you tonight. We're so thankful, Lord, for everything that you've done in this house. Lord, we look forward to the reports of what you've done in this prayer tonight. Because, Lord, I know you sent out your, your soldiers, Lord. You sent out your angels to go forth and, and do what it was that you were saying for them to do. And I'm thankful for that, Lord. I want to see this community healed. I want to see this community, Lord, in revival. I want to see this county, Lord, just in revival. I, want to see. I just want to see the things of God to take over, Lord, and the things of the devil to be suppressed and, and completely stricken down. Lord, let these chains that's been binding in this county for so long, Lord, let these chains be broken. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I know there's a lot of churches around here. And I know there's a lot of good churches around here, Lord. But I just pray, Lord God, that we'll all understand this revelation and we'll all become the ecclesia that you have created. Lord, I praise you for it and I thank you for your mighty hand. Lord, let you, let always, Lord, let your name be blessed. Let me be a blessing to you, Lord. You bless me all the time. I will bless you. Lord, I love you and I praise you. I, I ask you to bless each and every one of these people tonight in this house. My brothers and my sisters, Lord. I ask you, Lord God, to, to just keep them and protect them, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the devil not be able to touch anything that's been done tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everybody say Amen. 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 God bless you. Bring the tithe and offer me if you would.